everyone, it's your virtual teacher here, and this is the channel where you learn to love learning. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Now, an important thing to remember when we are measuring is to look at our ruler carefully. Now, these kind of big numbers are each whole centimetre. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and carrying on. Okay, now what do these little lines mean? Well, these little lines mean millimetres. Okay, and the good conversion rate, remember, is one centimetre is the same. So let's say I've got one centimetre here. How many millimetres do I count up until I get to my whole centimetre? I count 10 millimetres. Now, millimetres are smaller than centimetres. So let's say I wanted to draw a line that was five centimetres and three millimetres long. So the first thing I would do is look at my centimetres. Now, I'd use my ruler on the centimetre side because, remember, the little lines also show the millimetres. So I can use my centimetre side of my ruler to show centimetres and millimetres. OK, so five centimetres first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the zero. And I'm going to draw along all the way up to my five centimetres first. So that's where my five centimetres is. Now, where's my three millimetres? So if I can look really closely, the little lines represent one millimetre. So I'm going to count three of them because I've got three millimetres. So one, two, three millimetres. So you need to be really, really careful when you're counting your little millimetres because they are very, very small. So there we go. I've got my five centimetres and my three millimetres as well. Let's do another one. This time, I'm going to do eight centimetres and seven millimetres. Now, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and maybe if you've got your own ruler, you can draw your own line of eight centimetres and seven millimetres. OK, so the first thing I need to do, again, start on zero with my line, drawing my line. I'm going to draw all the way across to eight centimetres. So there we go. There's eight centimetres. Then I'm going to count my seven millimetres. So that means I'm going to count those little lines, seven of them. Now, if you look on your ruler, in between eight and nine centimetres, you've got like a medium sized line right in the middle. How many millimetres do you think that is? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So all of those medium sized lines in between the two whole centimetres, so the eight centimetres and the nine centimetres, there you've got five millimetres. And the same with all the other medium sized lines. That medium sized line means five millimetres. OK, so let's carry on. Seven millimetres. So there's my five millimetres. And then two more would get me to seven millimetres. So there we go. Seven millimetres, eight centimetres and seven millimetres. Now I would like to draw a line which is 12 centimetres and one millimetre. So pause video and have a go. So this time I've got 12 centimetres. So here we go. Here's my 12 centimetres there. Now I've got one millimetre. So if you look, here's my 12 centimetres. One millimetre is that little one there. So I would just add on that extra little bit, that extra one millimetre. Now you need to be really accurate with your millimetres because they are very, very small. Now let's say you've got a measurement of 125 millimetres. So that's all in millimetres. But you need to convert that into centimetres and millimetres. So what you can do is think about the number 125. So let's partition it. 
into what could we do? We could have 100. And we could have 25, couldn't we? Or we could partition it further and do 20 and then 5. So remember, this is all in millimetres. So each one is in millimetres. OK. So first of all, let's look at this 100 millimetres. Now, look back at our conversion. If I've got 100 millimetres, how many centimetres is that? If 10 millimetres is one centimetre, 100 millimetres is 10 centimetres. Good. 10 centimetres. Excellent. Now let's look at our 25 millimetres. I'm going to partition that even more. What would that partition into? 20 and 5. Remember, they are all in millimetres. So, if I've got 20 millimetres, 20 millimetres, how many centimetres is that? Can I convert it into centimetres? Remember, 10, cent 10 millimetres is the same as 1 centimetre. So, 20 millimetres is... Two centimetres, isn't it? Excellent. So I've got two centimetres here. Now, with five millimetres, if you look at your conversion, can I make any centimetres out of five millimetres? No, I can't because ten millimetres makes one centimetre. So therefore, I have to have at least 10 millimetres in order to get one centimetre. So altogether then, I've got 10 centimetres, add two centimetres. What will that be? 10 add two, 12 centimetres. And then I've got my five millimetres, haven't I? which are just going to stay as millimetres because I can't convert it into centimetres because it's too small. So now that I've got the conversion of 12 centimetres and 5 millimetres, I can draw this now on my number line, on my ruler. So pause the video and draw 12 centimetres and 5 millimetres. So 12 centimetres is here isn't it and five millimeters remember the little sections five millimeters is there so hopefully you drew that correctly as well okay let's try another one if i've got 86 millimeters now this is all in millimeters but remember i'm using my ruler and i need to convert that into centimeters and millimeters so let's take 86 and first job is to partition it into my tens and ones. So that's 80, isn't it? And six. Remember, these are all in millimetres because that's what I'm measuring in at the moment. Right, now let's take our 80 millimetres. Right, how many centimetres would that convert into? Look at your conversion. I know that 10 millimetres is one centimetre. So 80 millimetres is... How many centimetres? Good. Eight centimetres, isn't it? So, eight millimetres is eight centimetres. Now, for six millimetres, how many centimetres could that be? Can you do it? So, look at your conversion. I know that I need to have at least ten millimetres to get one centimetre. But if I've got six millimetres, that's too small, isn't it? Because I need at least 10 to get one centimetre. So can I convert six millimetres into centimetres? No, I can't. So that will just stay as six millimetres. So altogether then, 86 millimetres is eight centimetres because I could convert the 80 millimetres, couldn't I? And then it will be six millimetres because I couldn't convert that bit because it was too small I needed at least 10 millimetres. So pause video and have a go at maybe drawing that particular line. 
So if I was to draw eight centimetres on a line, I'd start from zero, go all the way across to eight centimetres. So there it is. And then I would put on my extra little six millimetres. So count five and six. So somewhere about there. Let's try one more. This time, why don't you have a go at 59 millimetres? Right, your first job is to partition 59 and to convert it into centimetres and millimetres. So pause video and have a go. So I've got 59. I'm going to partition it into 50 and 9. Remember, each one is in millimetres, isn't it? Okay. So, first job. Can I convert 50 millimetres into centimetres? Let's have a look. Go to our conversion. So, I know that 10 millimetres is one centimetre. So, if I've got 50 millimetres, how many centimetres is that? Good. It's five centimetres, isn't it? So I can write five centimetres there and nine millimetres. Can I convert nine millimetres into centimetres? No, I can't because remember, I need to have at least 10 millimetres to get to one centimetre. I've only got nine. I've almost got 10, but I haven't quite. So I can't make one centimetre. So it will just stay as nine millimetres. So all together then, I've got five centimetres and nine millimetres. Right, have a go at drawing that line on the ruler. So if I was to draw this line, the first thing I would do is start from zero, go all the way across, do your centimetres first. So that's five centimetres there. And then your nine millimetres are the little tiny sections. So count nine of them. There you go. You need to be really accurate. 